I haven't mentioned this name, but I've been, I've spoken to businessmen that are extremely successful, wealthy. I'm not going to name names, but just like you said, they don't understand the science, just like the politicians no, no. don't necessarily understand it. That's why my action, my personal action has been to teach people the science to, and explain mm -hmm. it in a way that they normally, it's great. not in a way that the physicists talk about it, can't follow what they're saying, but in a way that normal right. people can get it. What I've learned from this technology related to your search for extraterrestrial life, wherever that may be, uh, they definitely know. I mean, we're talking with oh, the sure. laser capability, they can get below the diffraction limit so they can have telescopes that are just beyond people's wildest imaginations if there's something right. out there they know about it my personal belief is that the moment we change ligo to start looking for artificial gravitational waves instead of just natural ones where neutron stars are colliding i think the whole universe is going to light up because aliens are flying around they're not flying around on rocks like 3i atlas whatever they're flying right. around <laughs> warp drives and wormholes <laughs> they don't need right. to fly on a space rock slow space rock that's moving 0 percent of the speed of light or whatever it's like come on oh it's but. ludicrous yeah i mean so many of these things you know you know that that's somebody with academic credentials, gaslighting, gullible people in the Congress and the public. We won't name uh, names, but. Oh, I will. I'll be low. I know exactly. I'll be low. And, he wants uh, 100 million for his Galileo project. I get it. I understand. <laughs> now they want a billion to, to keep the whole charade going, right? Let's put a billion um, into a neutronic fusion <laughs> research, and then we can all have infinite energy forever. And then we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Exactly.